do you guys have a cat? Because I have a couple cats, and I don't know, sometimes I think I got weird cats, because my cat has to be by you, but not really by you, and it has to be his choice, you know, like, here we are, and here we are, and this was the only way that I could get him to stop crying. I got to go on a mini Dollar Tree haul where I picked up some of their newer fall items that they have out right now. And one of my favorite things that I found was these um, faux leather leaves and pumpkins. I spent a lot of money on those last year at Hobby Lobby, so I was super excited to find them at Dollar Tree this year. So let's jump into the video and check out what I made for these really fun Dollar Tree DIYs. For this project, we're going to create a leaf gnome. So we're going to take one of these unfinished wood blocks from the Dollar Tree. And I also picked up these faux leather leaves from the Dollar Tree. So I was super excited to find these because like I said in my intro, I spent kind of a lot of money on these same faux leather leaves at Hobby Lobby last year. And um, so I was super excited to get these for $1.25. They're really fun to work with. So all we're going to do is kind of alternate our two types of leaves all along the bottom of this plank. And we're going to be creating a beard for our gnome. So I'm just using hot glue here. It does get kind of hot through that leather. But you're just going to go up to the desired um, amount of the plank that you want. Then I'm using a wooden bead from Amazon. And I'll link that down in the description. Um, and then I'm going to add two of these... I think these are maple leaves onto the side. I feel like these kind of make it look like a mustache. I thought it was so cute. Then I'm taking some fabric that I also got from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna wrap it around the top of the plank. Hot glue it in place. This is gonna be our hat and I'm just gonna kind of loop it over each other. I didn't cut any of this off. I just used the like fabric square that came from the Dollar Tree but you could trim this if you wanted to. Once I get that hot glue to the back, I'm going to flip it back around and I'm going to uh, gather the top of it into just a, I don't know, just I'm gathering it at the top. And then I'm using some twine and I'm going to wrap that around the top to give it a cinch. And then I do go ahead and add one more of the leaves up at the top just to give it a little extra something. And then here it is styled in some decor. Turn the tide Let the water go where it wants to go You can run and hide You can bury yourself beneath for this project, we're going to create a pumpkin wood sign, and I wasn't really sure what to call this, but I had picked up this little decor piece at Dollar Tree, and they're like everyday decor, and I also picked up this peel and stick wallpaper. So I went ahead and traced it onto the pe uh, peel and stick wallpaper, and then I'm going to cut out each individual piece. Then I just kind of measured them to go into the center of the signs, and then once I had it to fit into the center, then I just peeled off the backing and stuck it into the the middle of the sign. Then I took some wooden sticks. These came from Hobby Lobby but I do have a similar item from Amazon that I'll link down in the description box. Once I get the stems glued to each section of the sign then I decided to make some shabby bows. This ribbon came from Hobby Lobby and the Dollar Tree and I just kind of alternated them between the like burlap ribbon and the orange ribbon and then I have the middle one to have the burlap ribbon on top and then another one that has the orange ribbon on the top and so I just alternated them. Once I get them glued to the stems, then I'm going to go ahead and add a little button there. I'm using cream colored buttons. I will link those down from Amazon as well. You can get quite a few. If you don't want to purchase them on Amazon, they do sell like bundles of um, buttons at the Dollar Tree and sometimes they have like assorted colors. That's the one I like to pick up just because then you can use it for several different projects. Once I get these little buttons glued into the middle of our bows, then this project is complete and here it is styled in some decor. You can run and hide. You can bury yourself beneath the stone. Somebody told me don't pretend cause everyone can use a friend sometimes. Take some good Do 
you guys know what time it is? It's time to hit the like button. Don't forget so YouTube knows to send my video to more people so they can be inspired just like you. Let's get back to the DIYs. For this project, we're gonna make a metal pumpkin sign. I picked this metal pumpkin sign up at the Dollar Tree Plus section, and then I'm gonna use my half beads from Amazon. I will put a link down in my description box if you wanna pick these up. They are definitely worth the price. I have used these on so many projects, and I still have quite a few left, so they are definitely worth it. But all we're gonna do is glue the uh, beads in the like middle pieces of the pumpkin and then I'm going to take some white folk art chalk paint and I'm going to dry brush over my entire pumpkin along with the beads. So I left them natural looking and then I'm just dry brushing them so they're not getting a full coverage of white um, on any part of that. Then I took some more fabric from the Dollar Tree and I just had some strips left over and so I tied those strips around the center of the pumpkin and then added a couple other pieces and here it is styled in some decor. For this project, I'm going to create a shabby pumpkin wood sign, and I guess I'm not feeling very inspired for my <laughs> project titles today, but I picked up this sign at the Target Plus, or not Target, I'm sorry, Dollar Tree Plus section, and it was, I believe, $3. I also picked up these peel and stick uh, wallpaper tiles, and I'm going to cover the sign with the tiles. Now, I had some problems <laughs> creating this DIY when I traced out the pattern pump or the pumpkin pattern on the back of the peel and stick tile I didn't factor in that you were going to take off that black section there so when I put my um, tile onto my sign there is a little tiny section at the bottom that is not covered I also traced on the back of my tile which did not match up with my stems obviously I should have traced that out on the front but I continue to persevere through this project because I do think it's going to turn out really cute. Um, I had one other like mishap. I didn't um, cut it to fit on the right hand side all the way so I had to cut an extra piece. You can kind of see it but once I get the little bows on with my fabric it you can't even tell. So I do really love how this turned out. I definitely think I probably need a second try just to kind of perfect it a little bit but I'm using that same fabric from the Dollar Tree, adding some little shabby bows at the top, and here it is, styled in some decor. Let me take a breath. Let me be a part of something real. If you love farmhouse decor, shabby chic decor, and a little bit of mixture of both of those, which I like to refer to as shabby farmhouse, then hit that subscribe button, become a part of my YouTube family, and let's get crafting together. For this project, I'm going to create a wood planter. I haven't created a planter on my channel for quite some time, but I took this Dollar Tree crate and I'm going to use this birch wood garland that I got at Hobby Lobby. I got it last year in the Christmas section, so I hope they have it out again this year because I have used this a whole bunch and it's really versatile. I used it a lot for fall and of course you can use it for Christmas, but all I'm going to do is take hot glue and glue it around this entire box. I absolutely love the way this looks when it's all completed, um, but this is a really simple project. So once we get it on there, we're going to add our floral foam and then I took some florals that I got at the Dollar Tree this year. I got some yellow flowers, some orange flowers, a leaf pick and I added each one of those into the box along with some little pumpkins and here it is styled in some decor. Hope you guys enjoyed the video if you're looking for fall inspiration check out these videos right here and as always wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start and i will see you in my next video bye friends